Hello friends and welcome to a tiny makeover of the goth family. I feel like the goth family is so iconic. If you do a tiny makeover, like these people have to be first. Like they're just super iconic. So I gave them all more of a classic preppy, um, just kind of laid back fancy look rather than their kind of in your face gothicness. And I kept Bella's classic red vibe with the red lip, but I gave her more of a classic look rather than her kind of in-your-face look. So I thought that looked really nice. I really like how Bella turned out. Mortimer, I really don't even remember what I did with him, but I'm proud of the other family members. Mortimer's not my favorite townie, to be honest. Whenever I do like my own save, I think I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna do it this time. But like in the past, when I've tried to make my saves, I've had to restart so many times. But I've like separated Bella and him <laughs> because like I feel like I don't know. It just it just doesn't seem right to me. Like that they do, they're they don't seem like a good pairing. And I also feel like Bella's outfits that she has like originally don't really suit her. And with Cassandra, I feel like she has so much potential. She has like she's a very pretty sim, so I just like adjusted her eyes a little bit and a little bit of her face structure, but not too much because I wanted to keep the original sim the way she is. And then I gave her more of a rich girl kind of vibe to her. Like she has very nice clothing, but she's still very laid back. And our girl is very humble. <laughs> Can I know? Um, at first I was trying to go with the schoolgirl look. Because again, like that's how she looks originally, so I wanted to keep that. But instead, I ended up going for the new base game jeans we got, which I'm obsessed with. They remind me of CC jeans, and I really like them. Cause I don't, I like CC like CC items, but it's just frustrating because I like uploading my Sims to the gallery, and you can never really see them if you have CC in them. So it's kind of annoying. I have like um, a default skin, but other than that, not really. So I was trying to go with this preppy look and it just, it didn't work. It just kept, it just kept not working. That's what happened. And so I gave her these base game jeans that I really liked. And for her formal wear, I just gave her like a very classy um, look. The only problem is that we don't have good nude lipsticks for any skin tone, which is frustrating because it either just looks ashy on every single one of the sims, especially the darker sims, but like even on sims like Cassandra, they, it always looks just weird. It just looks odd. I don't know how to explain it. It just does. Um, I have a lot of Tony makers that I have stocked up. I just haven't done voiceovers for them and I don't want to put like music because I feel like, I don't know, I just, I personally and by the way that outfit I put for her party wear I also think that's also like a very Cassandra-esque outfit I just gave her a look that I feel like is very much like her mother's look um it's like she was very much heavily influenced by Bella and the way I put Bella um I put Bella as more kind of classy and so she has a more white white-esque look because I didn't think she was as gothic as her family and then I fixed Alexander because I feel like EA did Alexander dirty sorry EA love you but Alexander is such a precious sim to me like look at his little sad eyes he's such a precious sim and I feel like so bad because his facial features just were difficult and I loved this hair because I felt like it fit him and because he seems more like a loner type I mean his room is in the attic by himself but I gave both the kids a less gothic look because I felt like it made more sense instead of them. And also boys jeans for children, or just boys jeans in general, are just not up to not up to my standards. <laughs> Sorry EA, don't mean to upset, but don't love them. Um, see I've already done this recording, but right about here is when it freezes. I don't know why. Well, apparently I didn't record Mortimer's Mortimer's um transformation. So, oops, I'm a terrible YouTuber. Thank you guys so much for watching this insanely quick video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.